Hello everyone, today I want to show you how you can use logic on top of your forms to create tools that can react to your users based on their responses. So let's see how it works. Uh, to get fast, I'll show you how it works from the templates, but you can use uh, and create a form from scratch. So let's get to the templates and here is a category for templates for logic and conditions. Here you will see different options for your templates and you can demo them or pick them. So I'll show you this one and I'll pick it to show you how it works. So here we go. Here is my template and here I will edit my um, form and um, remove the copy part. So here I save it and get to the form. This is a form, a tool for getting rate and review on different airlines. It's a, just an example. You can create any form. So in this example, I have created a drop down menu, a drop down field for choosing the airlines. And you can choose from the airlines right here and click continue, rate it and write your review and submit this form. So uh, how you can use logic on this one. So I get to back to my dashboard and here I have my form I click on it. And there is a logic uh, right here that I, uh, that shows me the diagram of how my form is working. So basically based on the user response, the form will uh, react to it and show the, uh, show the next field and the next question. So if you select uh, how likely are you coming to Ryanair to others, it will uh, after that uh, ask uh, jump to uh, this question. And if you answer it this one, um, it will jump to rate Lufthansa. So um, this is how it works and all of these are finally connected to the final question, but you can change it. For example, you don't want a question to lead to the final question you wanted to submit and uh, finish the questions. Um, I'll show you how it works. Get to advanced logic and here are the conditions on my form. So basically it works this way. Uh, you, uh, there are, there's a list of questions and you can add your logic on each question. Here on my first question, I have uh, choose your airline and uh, it has multiple conditions. And this is one condition, this is another condition. And it says if uh, this question, uh, the answer to this question is option one, right on air, then jump to uh, this question. You can change it and change it to another question or you can add more conditions. For example, say if um, choose your airline like is not something, then jump to another question. And uh, it, this is how it works. You can delete them, you can edit them, and um, these are only on the first question. So I get to the second question to show uh, what can happen there? So here is uh, how likely do you recommend this uh, airline? And always uh, on the answer, it jumps to uh, run air features. You can change it and add an if else and say uh, if it was like this, uh, then jump to this. But we want to always jump to uh, the Ryanair features because the question is um, connected to Ryanair. And for Lufthansa, we will jump to Lufthansa. And um, um, the same for other questions. And finally, what airline should be added next? We don't want to add any condition on top of it, but if you want to, you can say always jump to a specific field or always submit the form because I want it to be the final question and I don't want anything else to happen. Or always after submit, go to a link uh, and you can add your link here. And it can be any link. You can uh, redirect the user to another website or another form. Uh, it's based on you, but you want to redirect the user after the, this question, submit and go to this link. So um, this is how it works. You can do. You can say always do something on the answer of each question, or if the answer was something, 
um, do this. Uh, after that, you can save it and um, test it on your form. So back to my form, I want to show you how it works. Let's get started and choose, uh, for example, Lufthansa. And I should see a question related to Lufthansa after this, which is right here. And if I get back, um, I can get back by using uh, the up uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard button. Uh, I choose Ryanair and it shows um, a question related to Ryanair. And how likely are you to recommend Ryanair, not Lufthansa? And it works very perfectly. Now let's see how it works on single step forms. I'll create a single step form from scratch to show you how it works from scratch too. I'll create a new form. I'll title it new form. You can hide your uh, title from here, show them form title. And it's just a title for you to know uh, which form it is. Let's add a field to our form. I'll just click on text field and ask for name. I'll add a single choice option. Add some option to it. So after this, I will add a section. A section is a block that you can add any tool, any text, any image uh, in it, and you can customize it based on your needs. I'll add three sections. So here I have created three sections and um, I've named them to make them clear. So here I will save my form and I'll show you how it looks like. On my form, I want to show this section, which is section one, only when option one was selected and section two only when option two was selected because I don't want a very long form and I don't want to show all the options to all users. So I want to show my data based on uh, what the user is choosing. So I'll get to my logic, which is accessible in my dashboard on the menu beside my form, which is right here, logic. And uh, you can add logic to each field by clicking on it on this diagram and adding, adding your logic. But for now, let's get to advanced logic here. You can see all your questions. And on this option, uh, on this option field, please choose one. I will add an if else condition and say if this question's answer was option one, then show section one. And also I will add another condition. If the answer to it was option one, then hide section two and also section three because uh, i want i don't want to show section two and three when it, this was selected i just want to show this one so back to here i will add uh, conditions uh, for all of the options and uh, go on again here i have added if it was option two show section two and hide section one and section three. And I'll do the same for section option three and the others. So here I have added this for option three too. Show section three and hide section one and two. So I'll save my conditions and get back to my form, refresh it. And now you see that I don't, I don't see my sections. They will be shown based on my choices so i'll choose option one it shows section one i choose option two it shows section two and i choose section three option three and it shows section three and this is a very powerful um, solution for you to create the apps you want uh, don't think of just forms think of apps and tools you can build with this it can be a very powerful tool for you to manage your data and manage your organization i hope you enjoyed this video if you had any questions just comment down below this video or email us at info at and i uh, hope you enjoyed it and bye for now